it is quarter past three. My brother and I are about to leave. That window doesn't want to close. We have eight. I haven't done my hair yet. Oops. <laughs> uh, eight and a half hours, I think. It's gonna be a long day. Let's go. Our home base for this hunt would be the magnificent Khoi Khoi River Lodge. After a long day on the road, we got settled into our accommodation. We ate like kings and got ready for the days to come. We would be spending the next few days hunting on the southern side of the Orange River. The next morning, the hunt was on. We were after a very specific black impala ram. Impala has long been one of my favorite antelope to hunt. Despite it looking warm, this time of the year temperatures were near freezing throughout the day. We never saw that group of Impala again, they had our number that day. The next morning we set off early and tried a new section of the property that we hadn't covered before. We had some incredible encounters with the animals, but the black impala ram seemed to be one step ahead of us.
conditions were very challenging. Cold, howling winds cut through the savannah every day. As the sun was setting on our final day, the ram made a mistake, stepped out into an opening at about 250 meters. This was my opportunity. The way he went down, I questioned that shot. I was immediately ready for a follow-up. I stayed in my optic, round-chambered, finger on the trigger. When he stood up moments later, I put a round through his heart. Nice ram. Nice. Way lucky. So we just harvested this black impala, which I've always had a soft spot ever since I first saw a black impala. First shot, I held a rupsy too much wind. Another Afrikaans word for you. He gave us plenty of opportunity. I think he was very demakar and um, stood up and drilled him right where we wanted to also straight through now yeah straight through well done Lekker. awesome dude bye down Congrats. to this bike cool okay guys so on our way back we saw a group of black impala and we managed to get a shot off and i shot a beautiful ram and it's going to make a lovely mount for the Impact Pro Shop. The Dasher didn't take any, any prisoners today. It was on point and uh, Vian, great guiding and it was a pleasure hunting with you. So, bye donkey. Please. Again, all Koi Koi's details are down below. Honestly, one of the nicest, if not the nicest hunting farm I've ever been to in the country. It's been an absolute pleasure being here and um, yeah, I can't put into words what a cool experience this was. It was really, really, it was amazing. Yeah. So we'll be back next year. Um, bring the family with hopefully and um, some more hunters and it should be fun. As a South African, the variety of hunting we can do in our country is a blessing. And to have world-class hunting operations like Koi Koi River Lodge is really the cherry on the cake. We will definitely be back in 2023. Spending multiple days in the felt of my brother, capturing these incredible adventures on film, is something I hope we get to do for the next few decades. It's an incredible privilege to be able to hunt and harvest our own meat. It's something we should never take for granted.